A man who views the world the same at 50 as he did at 20 has wasted 30 years of his life. Muhammad Ali, a life fully lived is a life that has learned lessons from the past and used them to create a more magical present and a better future. If you're still complaining about the same thing you were 30, 20, 10, or even one year ago, it's time to change something. And that something is you. You should be constantly evolving and growing who you are from life experience and from the work you do on you. Are you better than you were 10 years ago? Have you grown? What areas can you improve? He who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Muhammad Ali. Everything worthwhile in life will require an element of risk. Everything in life that has the possibility of a great reward carries with it an element of risk. The reward is not guaranteed. Failure is a possibility, and so there is risk. The real question is this, is the reward worth the risk? Whatever you really want in life is worth the risk. Starting that business is a risk, but will the reward of success be worth the risk? If the answer is yes, you must go for it. Asking that person out is a risk. They might say no, but the life together on the other side might be worth taking that risk. And so, the point is, for the things that really matter, you must take the risk. Do not live in regret for fear of failure because the only real failure is not attempting to live the life you want to live. Service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. Muhammad Ali, giving is its own reward it doesn't cost anything. It's not expected, but it sure makes your life a whole lot more fulfilling. Giving to others doesn't have to be financial or material. It could mean giving of your time, giving your experience, giving your presence. How can you make this world a better place today? How can you make someone else's day better today? Look for opportunities to serve anyone and everyone you come in contact with. It's the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. Muhammad Ali. Step one, affirm with repetition until you believe. Step two, repeat step one until it is ingrained in your very being. You have to speak and feel what you want. You have to affirm and feel who you want to be before you are that person. You must believe you deserve it. Work towards it until you see it and affirm it until you become it. The greatest gift you can give yourself is self-belief. Develop that belief in yourself through repetition. Repetition of affirmation and repetition of action. Constantly trying, getting up after failing and continuing to beat the drum until you find the winning beat. I hated every minute of training. But I said, don't quit, suffer now, and live the rest of your life as a champion, Muhammad Ali. Champions like Ali are willing to suffer now to live the rest of their life as a champion. And in the same way, those who succeed in any area of life are willing to delay gratification. They are prepared to suffer for a period, knowing the reward coming in the future. Most people seek comfort in the moment, even if it leads to pain later. Very few people are willing to go through pain in the moment for the possibility of a brighter future. An example might be the person who takes that first crappy job that comes along in order to pay the bills tomorrow, knowing full well they will be stuck there and be miserable for years to come. Someone else in the same situation though might choose in the short term to suffer financially while they work on developing their skills and getting a better job or starting their own business. Things that will lead to less pain in the future. It's a choice. It's a mindset. Your best life will never be gained by choosing the easy option.